Okay, so here we have a question that states how many P waves are present below in this rhythm strip, okay? So this is P waves we're looking at, okay? So we have to, they're pretty much asking us how many can we see here in this lead one that we're looking at, okay? So from beginning all the way to the end, all right? We're looking to identify those P waves, all right? So remember the normal cardiac cycle has a P wave, okay, that you can see here. All right, then we have this QRS complex where this is an R wave of it, and this is an S wave, and then you have a following T wave, okay? So remember this portion here is the QRS. Now remember, the P wave represents atrial depolarization, okay? Now you don't see the uh, atrial repolarization wave because oftentimes it'll be buried within the QRS complex, uh, but sometimes you can see it with slower rhythms or some other pathology, okay? So we don't have that here. And then we have our QRS complex where we said we have the R and S wave, and that represents ventricular depolarization, okay? And then we said we have a T wave that represents ventricular repolarization. So notice that we depolarize the cells and then we repolarize and we constantly have this cycle. Now what we're asking here is how many P waves are present, okay? So if we continue to go through this, you can see a small P wave there, okay? QRS complex, okay? This is our T wave. Again, we're starting a cycle over, QRS complex. T wave. And when I mention QRS complex, I'm not calling them uh, by their names, right? They're actually RS complexes. But generally, when we talk about QRS complexes, we talk about ventricular depolarization complexes. So that's why we label them here. So again, another P wave, QRS complex, T wave, P wave, QRS complex. And you can slowly see a T wave kind of forming there. So the question is asking about P waves, okay? So let's identify uh, those P waves here. So we have one here, okay? We have two, three, four, five, okay? So the answer is five. That means it puts us in between four and six. So this third answer choice. So five P waves, and hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and this is a normal uh, cycle. You can see these cycles kind of repeating themselves. Okay, you have one that starts here and ends here. And then you have another one ending here ending here, ending here, okay? So pretty straightforward, and all you had to do is kind of pick out those P waves, all right? That represents atrial depolarization, and there are five present here. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.